Alrighty guys, real quick, I'm in the middle of diagnosis. Actually, it's not a diagnosis, guys. This car is banging in and out of gear. Now, here's the thing, guys. This guy came in asking for a transmission service. Uh, the only problem with that, this is a Jeep Cherokee 2017. It doesn't have a transmission pan. That's nothing to service. It's a ZF 940 ATE transmission. Y'all see that fluid right there? I got six quarts of trans fluid. The only thing you can do to this thing is to drain and refill. Now, here's the problem here, guys. This guy think he got a transmission problem, right? Now, y'all just heard me. When I brought this car in, I'm putting it in the gear. I'm bam, bam, bam. Uh, motor mounts guys this car what 133,000 miles y'all can't see that it's not focusing anyway uh yes it's banging in and out of gear and the customer actually think a transmission service will fix this i keep telling y'all a service will not repair a problem so i have to go on with the transmission service because that's my job but i'm going to explain to them that's not going to fix this problem okay you need more work to get done real quick i got the cover down guys that's the cover that holds up all the guards this transmission 948 te guys what i'm getting ready to do you see this fluid? I'm getting ready to do a transmission search. Sur sur no, not a service. I'm basically getting ready to do a drain and refill, guys. I have this machine right here. I'm going to use the transfer. Well, I'm going to drain the old fluid out and use this machine to suck the new fluid in. Guys, we cannot do a service on this simply because you can't gain access to the filter. The filter is on top of the pump. Okay, this is a short video. So what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this on a long video. This is a drain plug right here. The field plug is up there. So I'm going to go through all that on a long video. So right down in the bottom, there's going to be a link. In this side, inside this video, is going to be a link that will lead you to the full video showing you how I will simply be draining and refilling this transmission. Okay, again, you cannot do a service. We're going to talk about why you can't do a service as well. All right, so y'all stay tuned for the long video. It's going to be linked in the bottom. Stay tuned. All righty, guys. Here we are. Okay, we're getting ready to do a simple drain and refill on this Jeep Cherokee with a front wheel drive 948 TE transmission, guys. Like I said on that shorts video, uh, that is the only option you have at trying to prolong the life of this. Yeah, I know I'm a big advocate for servicing your transmission. However, you cannot service this. And I'm going to go over real quick why you can't service it, okay? I got a train. I took one of these apart, put it on the table to show y'all what the filter is. Now, depending on your definition of a service, if your definition is replacing the filter and the fluid, remember the filter accumulates the trash that's normally accumulated by a typical transmission guys when you start your car uh your transmission breaking down as it's running okay uh inside your torque converter is what we call clutches inside your transmission what we call clutches that stuff over time simply breaks down that's normal you cannot eliminate that now however uh the important thing about those that debris that is accumulated from those wearing out clutch packs is it has to be stored somewhere it has to be captured now that is the job of the transmission filter okay however like i said earlier it is hard to gain access to the filter on this vehicle now here's clips of me taking this transmission out uh setting it on the table guys the reason i gotta set it on the table is because i gotta split it <laughs> the reason i have to split it is because they're hiding the transmission filter on top of the transmission pump so the only way to get to it is you have to disassemble the transmission yeah you cannot sell that as a service that would cost too much okay could you imagine approaching a customer explaining to them in order to do your transmission service we have to take your transmission out yeah so to counter that guys the only option we have is to simply do a drain and refill the only option we have as to as far as trying to prolong the life of it we got to do a drain and refill now here's a drain plug right here guys the field plug is up top okay so what let me do here's my thinking i'm going to open this plug before you open this and drain the fluid out do yourself a favor make sure the field plug will open okay this is little allen heads and sometimes they strip and you can't get them off oh my goodness you talk about for a long day having a long day if you drain all this out and you can't get that out how are you gonna get trans fluid in all right right so the important thing here is to make sure that will come off okay so that's what i'm gonna do that's exactly what i'm doing now i have a bucket right here that is simply because i'm gonna drain it into the bucket not my drain pan all right the thinking behind that go is i want to measure what come out typically when i do these i get a uh, this was one gallon jug i get a full one gallon worth of fluid so i know to go back in that's it with a gallon at least a gallon of fluid okay now before you think like that before you 
Before that becomes your intentions, you need to look around this transmission. Look around real good. Verify that there's no signs of any potential transmission leak. Okay, the reason I say that is because you can use that way of thinking to justify likely the transmission is still full from the factory. Guy, this car has 140,000 miles maybe. Yeah, so there's no signs of any leaks whatsoever. So I'm going to assume. Now, it's just not me. Uh, this is not my just not my idea okay i've heard training instructors uh explain it like that okay you can assume the transmission is full if there's no signs of leak so knowing that so whatever i drain out the goal is to go back in with the exact same amount okay yeah now if you had no no way of measuring what come out in other words you just open this up and let it all out here you will have to go through a rigorous process in determining if the transmission full that's nothing wrong with that okay you probably should do that anyway it's just i'm in a shop and i'm on the time constraints so let me find me some tools i'm gonna drain this in here this jug is empty right now if this jug if i end in this jug feet full that means uh yeah that means i need to go in with a gallon all right now let me go over the machine i'm gonna use it's nothing more than a fluid transfer machine all right so thinking goes i'm gonna set each jug in here suck the fluid out of here the fluid is gonna go through to here into the field port of the transmission all right so nothing technical or fancy about it in fact i gotta find a cord to plug it up guys i got work to do let's get started man as I suspected that is about a gallon so I'm looking to need about four four and a half maybe maybe five quarts of these guys all right let me set up my machines let's get this installed let's get it alrighty guys y'all can see my setup here now I got the hose going all the way up here y'all can see that yeah it's going inside the transmission so when I go to my machine uh, just a fluid transfer machine I got my fluid right here this hose in here when I click on, the machine is going to suck fluid out of here and travel it up through the hoses into the transmission. Let's get it. You can see it. Alrighty, guys. That was my last quart, okay, as far as the amount. Go remember, I want to go in with a gallon, okay? So I got four quarts and a half, actually. I put a half a quart in there as well. And it's not technically spitting out. That does not mean it's not full, guys. So here's the for sure way to tell. Y'all see this too? Yes, I'm about to run this car in gear for a while and let it reach operating temperature. And I'm going to stick my two. This is the dipstick for this transmission. Stick my dipstick tube down in there. Once I reach operating temperature, that's clarified in the book. Okay, then uh, you got to find out what the temperature is. Then you measure that with this reading and that will put you right on the money where you should be. The goal is to get this thing uh, to proper fill level, okay? When you're servicing it or draining refill or whatever you're doing, you want the fluid at the correct level, okay? I'm out of time, guys. I'm going to have to wrap this video, but this is my special tool I use. This is a dipstick, basically a dipstick, but don't use this unless the transmission is at operating temperature, all right? I got to go.